All right, we're back with another Money Origami Originals. Today I got the Star is Born. Shooting Star. Or Vase. Vase. I'm going to make it with uh, George Side Out. See what it looks like. I think the trim around the top will look better. And... So, uh, yeah, this is the model I was working on when I came up with the idea for this when I was working on this I was actually working on another design and it just got pretty complicated and I thought well this will simplify it and so uh, I'm not done with the other one yet I just uh, wanted to do this one since it's pretty straightforward yeah so I literally had one like this out of paper and I thought that'll stay together really well. And I cut off the top part and folded the little edges in. And sure enough, it became the uh, secret star box. So that's how these models develop when you're designing stuff. Uh, you don't always make what you intend. And the other model, which I was working on, which I made this from, uh, it was supposed to be something else, and it's not going to be that yet either. But it is something really cool, so I will have it coming up. All right, let's get a brand new bill for this one. Six seventy nine. Oh yeah, and if you really want to make it a working vase for a very small flower, just get a used tea light can, or you could get aluminum foil and fit it in there. But a used tea light can. And see, then you uh, put some water in there, and this fits on top. Now, it doesn't fit super great because it's a little high for the can. Could cut this down with scissors. It's, it's fairly wussy metal. And then that'll fit on there a little bit better. But these fit the, uh, fits the box bottom. But if we really wanted to make that a box top, uh, I would have to change the bottom edge a little bit, make the star a little bit shorter. But this is pretty cool like this, and it stays together really well. And uh, we're going to try a little bit different fold technique than uh, some of these other six-sided models that I've been doing. Well, than what we've been doing. So, on this one, I'm going to try to do it with George out. <laughs> I actually messed up on this one. I thought I was doing it with George out. But, uh, so, the reason, normally we would do thirds, but I don't, we don't want any extra creases up in here. and We don't really need the crease up there anyway, but we do need to figure out how to make sevenths going across. And it's part of the folds we're going to be making anyway. So we're going to fold in half first. All right, so just get it straight. Uh, you don't have to crease it down that much. Just enough. We know where it is. And then on the back bottom part of the bill, we have to fold this up. To where the edge comes to the middle of the remaining part of the side. So don't look at this part of the bill. Just look right here. And you want this little fold to come to the middle of these two folds. So about right there. That looks pretty good. So just try to get that right on. Maybe mine's a little short. And it might come up to the bottom edge of the one. The thing is, I don't like to use the bill 
art as uh, folding positions. This is going to be Washington Vons because it's going to say Washington right on there. So I don't like to use the bill art because sometimes the bills vary and anyone could have one of those at any time. All right, now that one, you can crease pretty good. Because, so I hope your Washington is showing too, because that'd be cool. I think it's going to look really cool this way. Now we've got to fold this piece inside there. <laughs> So you can let that unfold if you want. However, just uh, get this right into that crease. All the way up in there. This is the bottom locking edge. And we don't want to try to fold that in there later. So I'm going to fold it up. And have a nice look at it. You can use the lines to make sure you have it straight, though. That's for sure. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to crease mine down on that too. All right. So, I guess just leave that folded in. This these bottom two folds get beat up a little bit while we're folding this one. But there's not a real good way around that. So now I'm thinking the top of the star would look cool with the little green line on it. Now this is really up to you. But this is the part that's going to fold down at the top. And it has to be on the outside of the star. So we're going to fold it in toward George. And if you want to try to put the green line on there, then... Fold it right on the white part. Now this time I am using the bill art. But uh, it's because this isn't critical how much you fold it. You can fold it less or more. If you want it to just be white on the top. But I'm going to try to have the green line just showing like this. So I'm just going to. Go across with the green line showing even as I can get. And I'm pinching over and over again because I don't want it to move when I crease it down. These long skinny folds tend to move. All right, so there's our green trim line. Got a little bit of the back showing. That'll be all right, though. All right. So now the next step is uh, fold this. Leave this folded in, both folds. Okay. So now fold this raw edge into that crease. So what we did is we have uh, one third of the bill right here, but it shifted. And we just need that folded over like that. And that's part of the model, so you can crease it. 
And now, hang on one second. Yeah, so right here. Now, make sure that's straight because that matters. And I creased mine and it's a little bit off. So I'm tucking it all the way in there. Okay. Now fold back, mountain fold. Or you can turn it around and line up that point. Get this straight across. You could unfold that now to make sure you have this nice and straight. Problem is, these other folds are there. And if you don't have them real straight, it'll get off a little bit. So now, fold this back in half. Because we need some folds, valleys, and some mountains. And now, you fold this back in again. Alright, see how it tends to go like that? So, temporarily, unfold these bottom two folds. You can leave that top one in. So now we're putting it back in the same direction that the fold was on the bottom edge of the bill. be this way. <laughs> so we went on a mountain on the inside bottom edge right here. So that's a mountain there. And that's a valley. And so that's correct. All right. Now we do have to make thirds with it folded up. So, slide that in there somewhere. And, it takes a little bit longer with it folded over to get it right with no little kinks there. Get your de-kinking tool out. Get this as exact as you can. That looks good. And there we go. Okay. Now we need to make a few more folds. All the same mountains on the same side. And so you fold in half, leaving this part tucked in still. And just don't let any kinks get in there. This really helps it... Uh, fall into place when we start the assembly. And now you fold this raw edge into its first crease. And unfold this and fold it into the second crease from this side. One, two.
and you'll feel two ridges right here in the same place so you know you got it in the right spot all right this will probably be the last star for a while it's gonna be hard to top the uh stars born shooting star right you never know but you know that's just what i'm thinking i don't have any new ideas for a star right now so now you should have seven equal little panels going across and unfold hey i just got an idea let me check that out oh yeah that idea won't work because uh, we don't want to beat up the top of the bill so you have to unfold the half fold and put this bottom fold back so there's two folds we're, we're putting the original bigger one back and that part won't matter it'll get in the way if you fold it in so uh, oh, which way to fold? okay so we have that one fold right here on the corner and we're just going to duplicate that all the way across, only folding from here to here. So don't make any extra uh, folds up in here. You're just going to bring it to, I'm going to turn it around, and then you undo that, and you bring it up to the next mountain fold. And we're going by. Wait a minute. Well, sorry about that. It's we got to reverse this fold. So you can fold it into the center line and that first mountain fold. I don't think it was that way. But we need all these to be valley folds. So now you undo that. And the mountain folds are on this side, not this side. Because these are valleys and these are mountains. So then you just bring it up to the next mountain fold. And what I like to do is turn it around. And put that part of the bill down. It doesn't work as good after these are backwards. So I'm not going to do that. So you just let it lay over a little bit instead of folding in half because we don't want to mess those up either and it doesn't on the dollars now if you fold it with paper uh works just fine if you're using some thin flimsy origami paper you tear off one seventh and fold it in half or you can have it be thin now three by seven is larger than the dollar or you can make it six centimeter by 14 and that's smaller than the dollar so that paper will work just fine on this one that was the original model all right back to our folds so i've got this one laid in the right place and just pinch from the corner to the center fold which there's a little line right here on this one anyway all right so then undo that and go up to the next mountain fold on this side. Just like that. Pinch right here. There's the next mountain. And pinch it good. These are the ribs that go from the outer edge to the center. Right here. 
Oh, rip. Well, the folds are down here. And the reason why I did that uh, secret star box first is when I decided I could make it a box. Well, and then you can fold all the way across. I think that made it easier. So now this just goes all the way up to the edge. And make a nice point. And don't worry about the folds on this little side part folded in. That's why I said it gets beat up a little bit. But that's all right. Now we've got to do the same thing in the other direction. So this corner that we just folded that way goes this way. And I'm going to turn it around. And we're folding to the mountain folds again still. Just try to get them all straight. That one's a little bit crooked. There we go. All right, the next one. Here's the next one. And then there's just a few more folds. After this and then the assembly. All right, I hope yours is coming along good. All right. So you should have a whole bunch of little diamond shapes going across with mountains in the middle of them. Or a bunch of valley axes. All right, so now uh, fold this back down. And undo temporarily again the bottom. Edge fold this, just leave it the whole time. All right, so now uh, re refind your mountains just to make sure that they're all still matched up with this other piece. So I'm not really recreasing them, but I'm just making sure I'm going to be able to find them all. Okay. So now, we need to uh, bring each mountain fold together and pretend the edges are a mountain fold. So you just bring the first edge up to the mountain fold there. And then let it unfold. Bring the next two mountains together. And then after these folds, we just 
constrain the design a little bit and then put it together. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. The reason why it doesn't seem like I'm all excited about them on the videos is, you know, it was exciting for me when I discovered it and made the first one. And, you know, that's that's when I get the most appreciation. But now you can let these unfold or let them bunch up. Depends on what you're more comfortable with. I'm really pretty excited to see what this one's going to look like, though, with the George out and the little Washington on there. I wonder who's making a green side out. Anybody? Comments on the models are always appreciated. All right, so now you've got the zigzag 14th. And what you can do is go to the other side and crease those. Straighten up any. If, uh, if you're not sure, just bunch it up first. And find any culprits if you have one. Take care of it. All right. That's pretty cool. It's coming along great. All right, now open that back up in half again. And now put back that first fold like that again. That's important. And then uh, let me just practice a little bit before I start telling you how to do the next part. Okay, so all we got to do is reverse a little tiny bit of a fold on each mountain at the top edge. And so what you do is, I'm, I'm doing it like this. Put my finger behind there and get the mountain from the top. And then lift it a little bit till it extends to the point. Right here, the little point of the diamond or the square and so make sure while you're doing it that these mountains and valleys are staying as mountains and valleys just just to make sure so you, you as you push that together that sinks down in and then you've got the mountain across the little diamond so that's a mountain, but over here it's a valley. So squish in the valley, but you kind of got to stay ahead of yourself. And before you can squish in this valley much, you have to get the next mountain popped in. And so they go down to the little X's. And so that little spot, it can be a little bit frustrating. But just move them all a little bit first is what I would say. So this mountain, I'm pulling it up. And then go to the next mountain and pull it up. And the next. Just give them a little squishing. Uh, there you go. What you can do is when you pull them up, if you get right at the one-third crease of the line, then you can kind of pinch it down into the little X like that. So that seems like that works pretty good. 
So now I'm going back and catching up. All right, see how that looks terrible at first. But once you roll like that from this line forward, it goes right into place. And so this is almost done. All right, so I got all those. I hope you did too. Just rechecking them a little bit. That I like the way they hit the intersection. All right, so once you got all those now. Pull two mountains together while you squish the uh, mountain. It comes to a point there. And just do it a little bit. And then get the next two. And just don't overkill these. Just a little bit to make sure these lines come to the point. on each one. And there we go. The last one that's a little weird, just pinch the edge of the paper right here on each side a little bit. Okay. Now you can get in there from this side if you want and do them a little bit it helps a little you don't really have to do that part but then you can catch any that maybe don't have a nice point on this side straighten them out with a tool all right so it should look like this And now we have to determine which side is going to be on top. And the way you do it is you just you pre-fit it. And it's lining up pretty good. If you can squish it down in there, and then the inside piece just barely shows on top that's probably good to to overlap this side but sometimes one piece is a little bit bigger than the other one and it won't fit very well and you'll have to switch them so you just need to know which one you're going to do okay mine does not fit this way very well see how it's sticking up over that that's not going to work I can squish it in there. It's still just a little bit short of coming up to the top. So it might be the top fold and it might be these folds. But since it fit great this way, that's whichever way it fit better on yours. That's the way you have to do it. So it might not be exactly with this one overlapping. So you've decided which one's going to be on the inside and the outside. And then flatten the inside folds. So yours might be over here. Well, you have to flatten these two. And I just coerce this up a little bit right here. And come around the outside with your outside piece and stick that up under there. And the edge should come right here. And then fit it in the bottom. 
popping that back out. So that's a little bit fiddly. But once you got it lined up in here, then put this crease back. And then it sits down in there. And then you want to make sure it's all the way pushed in on this overlap down in the bottom uh, convergence of all those folds. Okay, it looks like this on the inside. And now you just fold that second crease we made in. Or, well, what the second crease? So like that. And you probably want to go around with the flap that's behind direction a little bit. First, at least. And what you do is just push it down. And go around now while you got a little bit going on that side get a little bit going on this side too so that you can keep this stuff lined up and now just do a little bit that way and then it doesn't matter just go around and tuck it in and there's your mop now just fine tune a little bit of stuff up like these and just squish it in there good. You've got a whole bunch of little uh, flat sides so you could go crazy with it and turn each one like that and do them if you really want to get it up in there. I happen to have this little tool that works well for it. But a fingernail or your finger can get in there plenty good. And there you go. And the top, just look it over and see if everything's fine. And then uh, to shape up your star a little bit, because it's usually a little out of whack, you can pinch each point. And then where it's overlapped, do it a lot extra. Go down and up because, you know, the two layers. And then pull each two points together one at a time. And there you go. So, stars born, shooting star, that little flap doesn't want to stay that great, but it's on the inside, so, and it holds together real solid, I mean, you can even put a golf ball on there or something, <laughs> or you can flip it over and it's a uh, bird bath, <laughs> or you can put some coins up here if you're leaving a tip, but this one really goes this way. It's a shooting star, stars born, Washington Vase Company. So, got that pretty straight, and it's right on there. Hope your model came out great. Now, you can pinch these if you want. Pretty hard to get in there. So, uh, it wasn't really... Totally necessary. That's why we did all the folds without having to reverse them as much as possible. All right. I hope everybody likes that model. Hope yours came out great. Mine did. I dig it. It's really pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get some more that have these uh, 3D final assembly looks to them. So I think that's pretty nice. All right. Take care. Have a great holiday. Everybody, uh, let me know how yours came out. All right. Take care. Bye. She's a beauty.